Hello Liverpool Football Club fans, welcome to our news channel about Liverpool. This is the perfect place for Reds fans to stay updated on everything happening with the club. But before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date every day. So, let's get started. Why Liverpool can do the impossible tonight. Man United's thrashing shows they're a threat, Real Madrid almost blew a huge lead last season and have only won once since playing at Anfield. They couldn't, could they? After Real Madrid's 5-2 thrashing of Liverpool at Anfield last month, it seems almost mathematically certain that the hosts will progress in the second leg at the Santiago Bernabeu on Wednesday. The reasons are clear, real, with superstar Karim Benzema up front, are the current European champions, the kings of comebacks, with a clear three-goal lead and playing in front of their own fans. So, according to theory, Jurgen Klopp and company might as well not bother going to Spain. Almost. Liverpool fans, the ever-loyal disciples, the dreamer believers, have seen too many miracles to accept this. Obviously, it's extremely unlikely that they'll overcome the deficit. But Klopp and his players have a supernatural ability to stage resurrections that would embarrass Lazarus, Los Blancos are out of form, and Champions League scores are notoriously mercurial. But don't forget, they were almost eliminated in every knockout stage before the final, mounting unlikely comebacks in the round of 16, quarterfinals, and semifinals. While victories against Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester City saw Real come from behind to triumph, the win over Chelsea covered up the cracks of what was almost an impressive capitulation. With a 3-1 win in the first leg at Stamford Bridge, Real returned home for the second leg confident of victory, before goals from Mason Mount, Antonio Rudiger, and Timo Werner turned the tie on its head against the weak and shell-shocked hosts. Thomas Tuchel's Blues could have won 4-0 on the night and 5-3 on aggregate, were it not for a handball dispute against Marcos Alonso, whose goal was disallowed, which would almost certainly have ended Real's tournament if it had stood. In the end, an individual moment of magic, a contender for the pass of the century from Croatian midfielder Luka Modric, set up Rodrigo's late equaliser and Rudiger's lapse in extra time saw Benzema go home to make it 2-3 on the night, 5-4 on aggregate. It was a lead they didn't relinquish on that occasion, but real, themselves well-versed in the art of the unlikely comeback, certainly have a collapse in them. So, fans, what do you think of this news? Let's go for it. Leave your comment, like because they are very important to us. See you in the next video, bye.